Hi, and welcome to my Tuesday evening live card making tutorial. I'm Shelly Godby, and for 22 years, I've been teaching you how to create hand stamp smiles through my YouTube videos, my Stamping Smiles blog, and my mailing list. And so this evening, I'm going to demonstrate for you a cute missing you card with the sending love stamp set so cute rural route um, mailboxes you know um are just so popular around here and and they're just an iconic scene right an iconic picture of of a mailbox and one that's empty like we're going to use is for missing somebody right so um, and this evening, I'm going to have a drawing. So to get under my drawing, all you need to do is add your comment and, you know, check in, say hello, but of course, interact with me and tell me what you love or don't love. And uh, we'll have a good time this evening. I always enjoy that so much. So let's go ahead and I'm going to, there we go, let you see a better view of this Sending Love stamp set. And it has dies. And Miss Tracy is checking in with a hello, hello. And Miss Carol, hello from Connecticut. Ah, so glad you all have joined me. And so this is from the January through April. Oh, and we've got another Carol, okay, from Pennsylvania. Fantastic. This Sending Love Bundle, this is from the January through April 2024 Stampin' Up! Mini Catalog, and I just fell in love with it. I had to have this right away. And so we have the stamp set, so cute, and then the coordinating dies. And uh, I'll show you um, in a bit the mailbox. Well, I'll just go ahead and show you now, because I'm going to use the stamp. How cute is this? So you can stamp it or you can use intricate dies and build a mailbox and even put a letter in it. So, so cute. And so that's what these intricate dies are. And what I have these on, I have, oh, Miss Patricia's here, hello. Um, I have these on a magnetic card and I get these at Stampin' Storage. And I've got a link under the video, if you're watching me on YouTube, with a link over to there for the magnetic cards and the sleeves and in January 15% off actually st uh, store-wide but 15% off and uh, and so if you use that link it'll take you right over there and so and then I just store them right in here and it's just oh so handy and last week I showed you but this time I got around and got the labels done and I wanted you to see how the tabs how they alternate so there's four different ones and so when you put them away, you can see and read Pretty Dog on Well that way. Isn't that sharp? Very cool. So January, I mean, these are available all the time, these magnetic sheets and uh, these, but 15% off in January. And like I said, a link under the video. And so the dies, oh, so cute is this mailbox. And so that's a, a wood, can't think of the right word. Um, and I know what I, because I looked it up earlier. The mailbox holder. Anyway, so <clears> the <throat> Sending Love stamp set. And as I was designing this, I started playing. Excuse me. <clears throat> I thought, oh my goodness, I know exactly what I have to do. <clears throat> this is course for postage. I thought that was one of these. I've got to use the perennial postage dies with this. Yeah, and this is a bundle too. Let me show you this real quickly. So the perennial postage stamp set. You've got all these fantastic greetings that fit in all of these um, different dies that'll look like a postage stamp when they're done. But these two are a match made in heaven. And this is also from the January through April 2024 Stampin' Up! Mini catalog and available in a bundle. And so you can get each of them separately, but when you order them together, with a special bundle item number, you save 10% on both, just as you will with the Saving Love Bundle. And I'm pointing that out especially because this evening, it's unusual for me, but I'm going to use the stamp set from one and the dies from the other. But like I said, a match made in heaven. You want both of these bundles. So, so cute. So we're going to start with our die cutting. I'll tell you what I'm loving about these magnetic sheets. All right. So... You know, with the other, there's the tape on there. And as I'm putting the dies away, I don't have to try to find a specific piece of tape. And it just keeps them so organized. And they're, they're on there. 
they're not going to fall off. Fantastic, and this makes them really easy to get in and out of instead of that envelope that we have. So this is the one that we will use this evening. So let me grab my stamp and cut in emboss machine. It is right here. We love this thing. All right, so we'll open it up. Don't you love the small profile that we have? Because it goes on my shelf and it doesn't take up a lot of space. It just folds up right away. All right, so now I need to build is what is called a sandwich. And so we will start with a plate number one. And everything I'm showing you is printed on here. So you don't have to memorize it. And then I'm using that thin metal die or postage stamp die. So I need a plate number two to get it to be just the right amount of thickness. And then a plate number three. So they're all numbered. Now our cardstock. And what I have here is some basic white cardstock, and we'll, we'll be stamping and coloring on this. And so whenever you're stamping and want white cardstock, you absolutely want the Stampin' Up! basic white cardstock. It has a smooth, tight finish to give you crisp, clean images. All right, and so now our die. And I'm going to put this rough side. That's the cutting side. We're going to put that down. Um, I don't need to. I, I'm going to stamp after I die cut. So I just need to make sure it stays on here. I don't need to uh, secure it in any way because I'm not centering it around a particular image. And Miss Adelaide is up live. Yay! Hello from Germany. Well, we're so glad you joined us. And then another plate number three. We'll place this on top and then just slide this through. I had a lot of fun designing this card, a bunch of different ideas. And so I end up not die cutting any of the images, and you'll see why as we build our card. Okay, cute. How cute is that? We've never had, we had a postage stamp uh, or a postage punch before. We've never had dies, and we could never get one this big. All right, so I'm setting that aside. All right, so we've got this, so now we're ready to stamp. Oh boy, I'm all excited tonight. <laughs> all right, and so look at this stamp. How cute is this? I showed it to you on there, and that must be pretty much um, actual size, but it's just adorable as all get out. And I want to color the Stampin' Blends. So to do that, I need to use a Tuxedo Black Memento ink pad. All right, so let's take this lid off. We'll turn this upside down. This is an unmounted stamp set, so I just put it on a clear mount block, and this block is a size E, and uh, and we'll peel it off and put it back in the case when I'm done, and just use the same block over and over. And I don't know if you've ever used Stampin' Up! blocks. If you have it, you are missing out. These grooves in the side, so comfortable to hang on to. So comfortable. The flat side, like, ooh, wait a minute, that doesn't feel right. So let's go ahead and give this a real good inking. All right, and then come over here and see it's unmounted. I can't see through it. It's not a clear rubber, but I can see around it for my placement. And it was just easier for me to die cut first, then stamp because of that. And uh, oh, she's, she says, yes, those blocks are great. They are wonderful. <laughs> like I said, if you haven't tried them, you absolutely want to. You'll be so spoiled. All right. Oh, fantastic. How I just can't get over how cute this is. Okay. And so I will clean this with Stampin' Mist on my Stampin' Scrub. Use that for the red rubber. The Stampin' Mist cleans and conditions your stamps. You know, we're putting in quite an investment into our stamps. So you know, baby wipes, I don't recommend that. It has alcohol or something in it, a drying agent, so the babies don't stay all wet. We don't want to dry out the rubber. Stampin' Mist, and it smells really good too. Okay, so, so cute. Well, while we've got the Tuxedo Black Bumino ink pad out, let's go ahead and this is a Miss You card. Well, here, this greeting's included in here and several others in the Sending Love. A little note to say, I miss you. Aw. Okay. So we'll give this a little inking, and it's going to fit in right here just beautifully. 
cute. All right, and then we've got the little birdie. Can you see? There we go. So, so cute. This was on a block C. That's what I thought. This is a block A. And we'll come up over here because he's flying away. Adorable. You know what? I can come in closer because we will be doing some coloring. So we can chit chat while I'm coloring. Oh, we've got some other to do. We've got to create a background. So, but you know what? I said we're going to color. Let's just go ahead and get our coloring done. I chose for the mailbox itself the Azure Afternoon and the post, mailbox post. That's what I was trying to think of. <laughs> um, so, I'm not going to do the post blue too. Mine, I live in town. And uh, but I still have one because we my husband and I, we would be gone for his work for up to two years at a time. And in case I wasn't home, we paid someone to shovel or take care, remove the snow. But I didn't know if someone would always do the steps. And I sure didn't want anyone getting hurt on it, the mailman. So we put a rule route box at the bottom of my steps and I've kept it there all this time. It's just convenient. So I am coloring in. And, uh, and I'm using the bullet right now. And I drew that little circle because I want to have a reflection. And so then I know not to color all the way in. And I like the bullet tip when I'm being careful. I'm being careful around the flag. Okay. And here. Right. And if you haven't tried Stampin' Blends, oh, how do I clean my stamps? Yes, I use the Stampin' Scrub for the red rubber. This is a red rubber, red rubber stamp set. So I use the Stampin' Scrub with the Stampin' Mist. And all that is available in my online store. Um, it is really good stuff. It, that's what I, it cleans and conditions your stamps, that red rubber. And you don't get lint all over using the stamp and scrub. And it has a side to get it wet. And the other side is for drying. And so that gets off, it does dry and gets off any residual ink that perhaps you didn't, you didn't catch. Okay. I'm being really careful and I had decided after I colored that the inside right here would be blue too. So I didn't need to be so precise. Okay, inside, so probably technically that would be the inside too, but I'm going to stick with it. Um, I'm going to do gray. And so now I have the darker one and I'm going to add in some color along here. Some shading. And I don't want to be precise. I want it spread out. So a lot of times it feels a little dark to me. I'll come back and add a little more. And then it'll graduate the color and you'll see the difference as it dries. Okay, so that is good. And as far as I know, we are done with the blue. I have here real red for the flag. My flag is red. Let's go ahead and color our flag. So it is really cold here today. And I was talking to a friend in Georgia. <laughs> For them, really cold. Really cold. Anyone else experiencing this? It's going across most of the country. Woo -hoo -hoo. It is something. Hey, so we are getting done with our colors. All right, so next, Smoky Slate. I looked and uh, mailbox acrylic. No, not sound acrylic. What am I trying to think of? Um, what is this material that these come in? Just having a mental break tonight. Um, hmm. Anyway, and they do come in gray. I mean, not that I'm the artist. I could do whatever color I wanted, but even though it's a cutesy stamp, I thought, oh, it'd be nice to be a little realistic. 
Oh, why can I not think of what in the world? And it's right there on the tip of my tongue. Because mine is too. <laughs> well, that's funny. I'll think of it after we're done. Hopefully before. Or if someone else can think of it. What in the world? The plastic. All right, let me use this brush end instead. Color this in. I was thinking about leaving it white, and I was adding just some gray shadows. And I thought, nope, let's just go ahead and color this all in. It won't take long. And so this is part of the whole fence post for the mailbox. Okay, you all are really quiet. So while I'm coloring, let's talk about celebration. I'm not using any celebration products tonight, but it's like Christmas for card makers. For every 50 or 100 that we purchase in January and February, we get to pick something absolutely from free from the celebration catalog. So and it's designated if it's free with 100 or free with 50. There we go. And uh, inside, go ahead and make this smoky slate as well. And there's a special if you join my team. If you have your choice of a glass mat studio or an extra $30 in products added to your starter kit. I would love if you wanted to join my team. Love all the DSP this time too. So lovely. Oh, in the, in the catalog, it absolutely is. Let's add some shading. And I didn't use the dark. I just, when you put color on top of color, you get more. So we just added some inside. Okay. And then along the bottom, I have the Granny Apple Green. Now let's go ahead with this grass. I did it first, and then I colored my post. And it covered up some of it, and I went back and added some more. So this time I thought, well, we'll just do it after. And see, the more I put down, the more color I get. So I can just put more on top of, there we go, of that smoky slate we just did. And then all we have left is our bird. And so I have Lemon Lolly for his belly. And my colors were coming from one of the Designer Series papers I was planning to use. And then I went a different route. So we've got his belly and Lemon Lolly. And then I have Bubble Bath. And I have the, the bullet end because, you know, this is a nice small. And that wasn't as dark as I wanted, but I really liked it. So I came with some fresh freesia to finish. We'll fill that in. How cute is our bird? Oh my goodness. And his head. We wanted his belly to be yellow. That's it. That coloring all done so quick. Fantastic. All right, so there's more to do. The background, I decided the DSP just I thought it was a little bit more than I wanted. I wanted tone on tone. So I've got the sketch plaid stamp here, and I used this a couple weeks ago with the watercolor melon. And so we've got the tone on tone here too. That is one of my favorite things in the world is tone on tone. Now this is one of the celebration gifts free with a $50 purchase, this watercolor melon stamp set. Love it. All right. So, and I said tone on tone. So what I have here is some Azure Afternoon cardstock to go with our mailbox. Cute, cute, cute. And whenever the stamp is bigger than my pad, I like to put it face up and we'll bring the pad to it. And what I have here is the Azure Afternoon Classic Stampin' Pad. So we're going to pick this up, slide that lid in, and we'll give this a really good inking. These firm foam pads, they're nice and spongy. And look at that awesome coverage you get. There won't be a line where you can tell where I hit with the pad. They are just the juiciest things. And what helps keep them nice and juicy is they store themselves upside down. 
Fantastic. Okay, and so instead of trying to hover over, and that's what I did when I first started stamping, I'm trying to hover and hoping I got it straight. Nope, we don't need to do that. We're going to leave this rubber side up, place our cardstock on there. Now I do want it straight because I've got lines, and then I'll just press onto there. All right, you know what? That is not straight. So this is why God gave us two sides of cardstock. And pick that up and we'll try that again back with i need my stamping sleeves look at me i'm a little inky okay got that so let's do this now let me try a little bit harder <laughs> to get this on your straight oh, it's looking good yeah i really do need my stamping sleeves but if i do this to get on the edge i'll really be inky so instead i have a piece of scrap paper we'll lay that over top and then i can just rub everywhere that scrap paper really comes in handy. I use it for a lot of different things. And this is one of them. All right, let's have a look at what we got. Oh, fantastic. That was worth taking the time to turn it over and do it right. Okay, so we are not done with this. I've got one, well, a couple little touches that we're going to do. But let's first go ahead and attach this. And what I'm going to do is, oh, um, use my Stampin' Dimensionals, my favorite adhesive. And my order came in, I've got them all. And oh, Miss Becky, oh, hi, from Kentucky. And she, re I was thinking it and I forgot. She said, yes, she's a first time watcher. Well, we're so happy you're here. And she shared my video and gave it a thumbs up. And so I'm told I'm to ask you all to do that. Please give my video a thumbs up and sharing it. That would be awesome. And so these foam adhesive dots, I'm putting one in each corner. That one was already coming off. Can you hear me okay? I forgot my microphone. Oh my goodness. Okay, now it's on me. I hope you were able to hear me okay up till then. Um. So these foam adhesive dots just really give it a nice lift. So we're putting one in each corner and one in the center for support. And uh, for anyone joining us, uh, Miss Becky, I'm having a drawing at the end of the video. Now it has to be for someone with a U.S. address because it's Stampin' Up! product. Uh, anything new or even retired, I can only mail to U.S. addresses because I'm a U.S. demo. Okay, so. We've got our tone on tone for the cardstock and ink. I like that little bit at the box at the top. I think you would notice that more than you would anything at the bottom. And that lift is fantastic. Okay. And so then I wanted something behind here, but it was going to be a little bit much to have another one. So I've got this lemon lolly to pick up that little bit there. And, um, but we're not quite done. I'll show you another reason why I chose Lemon Lolly. I've got my Lemon, lemon Lolly Classic Stampin' Pad. And um, I'm going to pick this up, slide that in. Let me have a look. Miss Carol says, I need to get this plaid stamp set and the block. Yes, it, it is a great, I mean, I'm sure it'd be not, uh, my favorite, like I said, is Tone on Tone. It, but you could do so much more with it. It's just a real good universal one, isn't it? I mean, it looks great with this elegant. I think that's pretty elegant because it's so realistic. And it looks really good with this cutesy stamp set. So it just can take on all the personalities. Miss Becky, cute card. Love the set. Oh, thank you. All right. So look, this is the cancellation stamp. And I thought this kind of looked like a stamp. And this is why I chose not to die cut um, the mailbox because... I'm going to let it just go right over top. Cute, right? Yes. And um, let me show you. I went to bed thinking I wanted to create kind of a collage with all of that. And I thought, ooh, it takes time to color. What if someone doesn't like to color? So I did try it without coloring. It just didn't work for me. I mean, that just doesn't, for me, didn't compare to this. I was thinking if you wanted to do this, we almost would need to stay monochromatic, I think. Because I tried all kinds of colors because I was thinking of collage, and I tried this in Lemon Lolly and, and, and lighter colors. I thought, no, it's going to have to be bolder. But 
I just ended up, it just needed to be colored. That's just all there is to it. Ah, uh, so, all right, so let's do this. So I'm going to put this little cattywampus. So this needs to be cattywampus this way. And to adhere that, I have my stamp and seal and put my finger where it's a little opaque. And for me, an inch in each corner is plenty. There we go. Every once in a while, I didn't need to tonight, but every once in a while I have to help it out. It gets a little stuck. So I'm going to go Katie okay, Wampit this way. And so we'll do this. And then this we will put on. It really makes a difference in laying flat um, with our stamp and dimensionals again. And when I looked over, it looked like it was sinking in the center. So I decided to shore it up by putting one on each side. But that backing came off and here we go. And some of these are just coming off real easily. I can see them already lifted up. If not, you take your thumbnail, even very, very short like mine, press down, it makes that edge pop up. So this comes off very easily. And this does not look shiny to me. There we go. And we'll put this on Caddy Wampus. So we've got some of the lemon lolly showing all over. How cute. We are not quite done. We have a finishing touch. And for that, we will use the rainbow, right? Rainbow adhesive back dots. And uh, and it comes in these colors. And so easy to get it off. I use my uh, take your pick tool with a spatula end. On the other end was the pointer piercing tool. But with this, and I like to press down on it because then the adhesive is sticking to that acetate. Get up and underneath, put one here, whoops, there we go. So a lemon lolly, and then a small of is your afternoon, over here, up by our bird, cute, cute, cute. And then one of the fresh freesia. I played around with the different sizes and a larger one down here helps fill that in. And there we go. These are also from the January through April. Stampin' Up! 2024 Stampin' Up! Mini Catalog. Oh, all right, Miss Carol, such a cute card. Well, thank you. I thought, oh, I hope they don't think this is just too simple, but I just, the whole rule route mailbox thing just tickles me to no end. And so that is the Sending Love stamp set and the perennial postage dies that I really do think, especially when you see the cute things you can do like this and more, cutting out all these images that you'll want you'll want the dies too. So there you go. So, so cute. And all of these products are available to order in my online store. So we need to have a drawing. Oh, Miss Becky, love it. Well, thank you. I sure appreciate it. And so let's just chit chat for a little bit and give someone a chance to comment because we're going to have our drawing. That's what I can do while we're waiting. Let's see if anyone else Oh, we have a, oh, see, Miss Carol has a mailbox like that too. I sure do. Yeah. No, oh, it's actually pretty handy. And so my drawing this evening will be for one of these three retired stamp sets. Well, I can show you. We've got hello. How cute is that? Hello, friend. Hello, birthday boy. Hello, little sunshine. Hello, birthday girl. And some images. A good day. Really cute. These will punch out. Oh, Miss Diane, darling card. Well, thank you. Aw, well, just making my day. And uh, this is so cute. A little treat for someone sweet. So these will fit into a circle punch. And then, hey, you. Rather, I mean, plain but elegant with the, the I don't think those are fleur de -lis. We'll just call them squigglies. Uh, the thank you, congrats, and happy birthday. And so, all right, that gave us a little bit of time. So let's go over and do our drawing or one of these three for someone with a U.S. address. I'm sorry, those are the rules. I, I don't have any control over that. I need to step over here and, and it should show up on, oh, it didn't show up. Wait a minute, I gotta present it. Oh, crud. Okay, it's, it's going through them. <gasps> Miss Carol is our winner. Well, congratulations, Miss Carol. 
Oh, we've got very few, uh, very cute card from just as Facebook user. And so I have an idea who that may be, but you have to give Facebook or StreamYard Facebook permission to let StreamYard put it over there. So Miss Carol, if you have a U.S. address, what I need to have you do is send an email to me at shelly at stampingsmiles.com. Oh, Miss Carol says, thank you so much. You're so welcome. We're so excited. Um, Shelly at stampingsmiles.com with your uh, full name and mailing address. And so, and then which one of the three you would like, we've got, and I can come back. And I will also go post this on my Facebook business page, facebook.com slash stamping smiles and uh, with directions there as well. So let's do this, come back. Oh, I know what I need to do. There we go. So with your three choices, the hello, a good day. Oh, I'm a little close, aren't I? And hey, you. Okay. So, and then we have our sending love stamp set. And we've got some congratulations over here. That is so sweet of everybody. All right. And I'm back. <laughs> All right. And so, as I was saying, the sending love stamp set the bundle just get the bundle you're gonna want the bundle and the perennial postage bundle all of these and everything else that i use today are available to order in my online store www.shopwithshelly.com and through february 29th 2024 for every 50 or 100 depending on the value of the gift that um depending on the value of how much you've ordered or the value of the gift for every 50 or 100, you get to pick something absolutely for free. And so, you know, and if your order gets to 150, you get stamping rewards and free celebration gifts. So it's a great time. It gets up to 300, which would be really easy to do in this catalog. And you can order from the annual catalog, the um, spring catalog, the January through April, the online exclusive, prepaid paper pumpkin subscriptions and just clean up for celebration. But when it gets to 300, you get an additional $30 in products of your choice, as well as all the celebration gifts and your regular stamp and reward. So, wow. So if you'd like to make my, oh, that's not so great, the lighting, uh, sending love card, all the supplies will be listed below the video. They are listed below the video on YouTube and, uh, and available to order now, my online store, www.shopwithshelly.com. Dot com. So I don't see any other questions while I was talking about all that or comments, but I am then going to wish you a good evening and I'm looking forward to seeing you here again next week. I'm Shelly Godby, teaching you how to create hand stamp smiles. Thanks for watching.